All right. And again, I set it for two pages, but you know, it could be 20 pages. There could be any number of different products and services pages that all share a, a chunk of content. But again, you don't get that unless you think through the problem in advance and, and plan it out. And if you don't, then you're stuck with a maintenance nightmare. Either you have to go back and fix it and change it and add a master page, which you're spinning your wheels, or you have to live with the fact that every time you want to change that common content, you got to do it in two places. And you'll probably mess up someday and not do it or do it inconsistently or something along those lines. All right. Any questions about this? Just with that, you know, possible to predict the future and uh, yeah are there like best practices you know like such as I'm gonna say designing a master page with uh, let's say nested master pages around your, your headings even if you're not um, let's say, gonna use them yeah you know this is you know the, the, this is the old cliche this is why we get the big box right there there I, I would be hesitant to suggest something like that all right um, while we know that there's going to be change, while we know that you can't predict the future, it's impossible to, you'll go crazy and you'll, you'll spin your wheels if you try to come up with like some perfect solution that can't possibly break. So you gotta, you gotta sort of, you know, you, you you anticipate change in the future, but you don't go crazy and obsess about it. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a case of balance. Like in this case, it's a no-brainer to me that says, hey, um, you know, all my pages I want to have the same general layout, so I'm going to create a master page. That, that is, is pretty straightforward. And then I added on to this the, the realization that, hey, these, these few pages or pages of this type have another master page. But to anticipate, like, well, maybe at some point I want to contact us and about us to have some different content. So I'm going to, like, put a hook in there. I, you can go crazy doing that. So it's just a matter of balance. So it's kind of the process of refactoring where if you see repetition, then Exactly, exactly. That. And again, remember, the earlier you catch it, the better off you're going to be. You know, if, for example... I were to add, you know, you know, what could happen is, is let's say I had the products page first, all right, and I, I coded it just using the one master page, all right. If someone came along and said that we now need a services page that needs to have that same content plus some extra content, at that point I might refactor the products page and say, okay, now we have a need for another master page, one that will cover these two pages or these two sets of pages. So yeah, that would be a case of refactoring. Um, so again, it's tricky because you can drive yourself crazy trying to account for every, every, every possible thing because there's a lot of things that are possible. All right. And, uh, but again, you do want to take the best practices that, you know, the things that you know about, the things you can anticipate, and the things that seem reasonable you want to accommodate for. Other questions? Now, what is one other thing that's a big issue on websites that every website developer has to face? I'll answer the question for you. <laughs> it's navigation. All right? So here, in this example, I just made a little um, little um, unordered list and, and put that on there. It'd be nice if I had things like drop-down menus, or not drop-down menus, but, but um, menus where if I put my mouse over it, some other options appear and all that sort of thing. That's something that's real typical for web developers to worry about. So that's where we'll pick up next time, is to look at the stuff that ASP.NET provides for doing navigation is similar in concept to the validation control, right? Every web developer needs certain sorts of validation and, and wants certain sorts of validation. Same idea here. Every web developer is concerned about navigation. So we'll give them some tools 
that you can use. You don't have to use them. If you want to bake your own navigation scheme, that's fine. But if you do want to take and use what they've given you, it gives you a pretty good head start. It does some reasonably good navigations. All right, so that's where we'll pick up uh, next time.